Okay, I got two fluorescents that are two foot long in a kitchen. These are from the dark ages from an old ranch house. They're normally 20 watts each with a magnetic ballast. The wattage for that is actually 20 and 20 is 40. The ballast is around 10 watts loss. I measured about 52 watts input actually to the entire fixture. So I'm going to replace that with LEDs and down here this is the LED replacements I got off eBay about a year ago. They're two foot long and they're nominally rated at nine watts and I'm measuring here eight and a half on 120 volts. So I'm going to put two bulbs in. I've got two different color temperatures just like I did before. So Eight and a half and eight and a half is 17 watts. If you see what they're rated at to say nine, it'd be 18. So I go from around 54 to 52 watts, roughly what I've measured, down to about 18 watts. And these are LEDs that are plug and play you put in. There's no ballast on this. Since you just directly hardwire this, you take the old ballast off. You can get some radio interference on this, so it's not always... Uh, Anything electronic, sometimes you get some weirdness on there, but these are the two foot long replacements got off eBay to replace two foot, uh, these F20 T12s. I've got a Chroma 50 and then also a kitchen and bath lamp up there. They've been up there forever, they're kind of a night light. So you got two of them, they're 20 watts. Uh, those are T1.2s with the magnetic ballast, so measure between 52 to 54 watts. Kind of depends on the temperature. And down here is the LED replacements again. Got off eBay. Actually got them from China, if you can believe it, a year ago when they no, couldn't get them from anybody. Now they're pretty common. T8, 9 watts. Got a low temperature and a high color temperature here. The volt ampere is 8.6 watts 8.1.